Welcome to Tarkov Tales. In this series of videos, we look at the traders of Tarkov. Who are they, and why are they here? In this video, I want to focus on the mysterious Fence, and his or their representation in the Tarkov universe. Some people say there's a man inside the city walls that will buy anything from you, no questions asked. People with hot property can unload pretty much anything, although the price won't always be the best. Likewise, they say he sells anything you can think of, but it may cost the earth. Who is this man, and why is he here? The in-game description for Fence states, The conflict had barely started when Fence had already started setting up anonymous outlets for buying and selling goods. Keeping incognito, he nevertheless managed to put together a well-organised smuggler network operating all over the Norvinsk region. In the criminal underworld, a fence, also known as a receiver, mover or moving man, is an individual who knowingly buys stolen goods in order to resell them later for a profit. The fence acts as a middleman between the thieves and the eventual buyers of the stolen goods, who may not even be aware that the goods are stolen. As a verb, the word describes the behaviour of the thief in the transaction. This sense of the term came from the thief slang tracing from the notion of such transactions providing a defence against being caught. The thief who sells to the fence is willing to accept a low profit margin in order to reduce his risks by instantly washing his hands of the black market loot and disassociating himself from the criminal act that procured it. After the sale, the fence recoups the investment by disguising the stolen nature of the goods via methods such as repackaging or altering the serial numbers and reselling the goods as near to the white market price as possible without drawing suspicion. This process often relies on a legal business such as a pawn shop, flea market or street vendor in order to launder the stolen goods by intermixing them with legally purchased items of the same type. The fence is then able to make a profit with stolen merchandise because he is able to secretly pay the thieves a very low price for the hot stolen goods that cannot easily be sold on the open market. But what about Tarkov? I suspect that the fence that we see in Tarkov is not one man, but a network of scavs. He will take anything off your hands, but for a vastly reduced price compared to any of the other traders. I imagine that all this leads to one anonymous shady figure at the top of the network. He will buy literally anything from you and his entire stock consists of items only sold to him by other PMCs and he doesn't restock. Word is, however, that whoever this person or persons are, they creep around after firefights and scoop up all of the leftover gear that wasn't extracted already, selling it back to PMCs for a vastly increased markup. This of course is just a theory. Throughout our time in Tarkov, we rarely have any dealings with Fence at all and his network. He only offers us one job, and this only becomes available once we've completed every single other tasks for all of the other traders in Tarkov. Collector. This job requires you to find in raid some of the rarest and most valuable items in all of Tarkov. Once we find and extract with them all, he rewards us with probably the most sought after item in the game a kappa container. This container is 4x3 slots and is the largest secure container available, making it the number one item to have. But again, this is only available once you become a literal legend of Tarkov. For everyone else, the introduction of the flea market has made what was once quite a profitable business pretty much obsolete. Fence struggles in these hard times due to competitive sellers and auctions cutting him out as a middleman. You can still snag a good deal from him from time to time, but that tends to be once in a blue moon. Unless he can adapt his business model, Fence will always be a small time hustler in a city filled with bigger fish. His only saving grace is that he has access to the Kappa containers, but the steep hill involved in acquiring them will put off all but everyone except for the most dedicated. For the rest of us though, we can rest assured that even if no one else will buy our cheap shitty crap, fence will. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.